Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, I am doing the Little Women book tag. Pretty sure the original creator of this book tag was This Story Ain't Over, and I can't remember her name, but that's definitely her booktube name. Uh, I will link her video up in the cards above. And as you guys may or may not know, I have a very strong connection to this book and to this story because I am a professional opera singer and I've done like four productions of the opera that is based off of this book. So I love book tags. I've done quite a few on my channel already and I loved this one because there are two questions based around each of the four March sisters. So there are two questions that are based around Joe's character, then Meg's character, Beth's character, and then Amy's of course. So without further ado, let's just get into the questions. I just want to say that some of these answers and some of the books that I'm going to talk about may be kind of basic answers and maybe overhyped books but what can I say? I'm a basic bitch. So the first couple of questions are based around Joe's character. And the first question is name a book that you wished you'd written because it's just that good. And so for this one, I'm actually going to go with The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is a series of four books. I have talked about this series quite a bit on my channel. It's definitely one of my favorite series of all time. This is a YA paranormal historical fiction series because it is based in the 1920s in New York City and we have a wonderful cast of characters and this plot basically centers around this group of teenagers that they all have supernatural abilities and throughout the series they kind of come together to defeat this really bad villain called the King of Crows and I wish I had written these books because I love how dynamic and complex all of the characters are and I love how refreshing and oddly modern in the 1920s setting feels and I also just love all the paranormal things happening. I just feel like especially this first book I think it's still my favorite book of the series. It just introduces the world and the characters in such a genius way. I'm not the only one that feels this way. A lot of people are very disappointed by the fourth and final book called The King of Crows so if I had written this series I definitely would have tried to do a better job with it if that makes sense and I know that's shady like I said but that's just my opinion. Second question for Joe is, name a book with a heroine whose journey is far more inspiring than her romantic relationships. And so this one's gonna be a pretty obvious choice as well, but I just had to go with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I mean, come on, Katniss is such an iconic character. We all know Gail is trash, and as much as I love PETA, nobody can deny that Katniss's journey separate from her romantic relationships is absolutely iconic and amazing. So this may be the most obvious answer to pick for this question, but I just couldn't resist. Next up, we have two questions for Meg. And the first one is name a book with a supporting character slash cast that makes the book for you. And this one was a pretty easy one for me to answer. That's going to be Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is a sci-fi kind of dystopian superhero trilogy, essentially. And really all the characters in the series are amazing, but I really love all the side characters. And I also appreciate that at the beginning of the three books Marissa Meyer has like a cast of characters thing and she explains like what each character is what their superpower is so for the renegades their sketch and that's Adrian Everhart who is one of the main characters we have his three best friends who are on his same team we have Monarch who is Dana Bell she transforms into a swarm of monarch butterflies to help her in battle then we have the red assassin that's Ruby Tucker when wounded her blood crystallizes into weaponry signature weapon is a grappling hook formed from a bloodstone and then we have smokescreen who is oscar silva and he summons smoke and vapor at will and then of course we have the renegade council which are the five superheroes that are in charge of gatlin city essentially i just love how creative marissa meyer was when creating all of these characters and their superpowers these are definitely superpowers that i haven't heard of before and also apart from their superpowers i loved how dynamic and interesting marissa Meyer made a lot of these characters personalities as well. The next question for Meg is name a book with a character whose dreams slash aspirations are very different from your own. This was another one that was really easy for me to answer and that's going to be the iconic, the legend, the queen that is Jude Duarte from the Cruel Prince series or the Folk of the Air trilogy by Holly Black. 
Jude is such an interesting and complex character. I basically gushed all about her in my reading vlog where I binged this entire trilogy, so I will also link that up in the cards above. I love how that video came out. And I adore Jude's character. She's just so complex and interesting. She's ruthless in her pursuit of power, but at the same time, she has some vulnerability to her. Definitely not afraid to fight for power. And then in the later books, she then starts to struggle to stay in power. I find her whole journey to be just so interesting. But at the same time, her personality is very different from my own. I feel like if I was living in this world, I probably would go more the route of Taryn, who is her twin sister, and I would probably just try to blend in and not try to get ridiculed and not try to get picked on. I mean, Taryn's not my favorite character in this series, but I can definitely see going more her route, especially in this very first book. And I could also see myself being more like Vivi, who is Taryn and Jude's older sister. And I feel like I just wouldn't even want to live in this realm. I feel like I would just want to go back to the mortal world because that's what I know and that's what I'm comfortable with and there's definitely aspects of this fey realm that kind of scare me if I'm being honest so yeah there's definitely a lot of opposites going on between me and Jude. Okay so now we're going to talk about the two prompts having to do with Beth. The first one is name a book with a character death that devastated you. So this is going to be very spoilery for the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo so if you have not read this yet and you don't want to be spoiled skip to the timestamp that I'm going to put right here. Okay, so now that all the people that don't want to be spoiled are gone, let's discuss Matthias. Okay, so his character gets killed off pretty much at the end of Crooked Kingdom, which is the second book, of course. And his death, girl, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, I was not ready. I was not prepared. Although usually most character deaths do come out of nowhere. But girl, I really did not think that Lee Bardugo was gonna kill off any of the main six characters. You remember from the book, he ends up getting confronted by this teenage boy. And so I think this teenage boy, he's either a novice or he is, I think what they call Druskels, which are like, witch hunters but essentially you know they hunt Grisha. You know Matthias is trying to talk to this boy and trying to kind of get him to see the error of his ways and the error of his hatred. But then I think the guy just like straight up shoots him and I was just like what? I still just can't believe that Lee Bardugo would do that to Nina. Nina's such an icon and she deserves to have Matthias alive and well and with her. Ugh, yeah, it just sucks. It really, really sucks. And the second prompt for Beth is name a genuinely good character that you think deserves the best. This is another answer that I feel like is really obvious, but you know what? I don't care because he's one of my favorite characters in the series and that is going to be Neville Longbottom from the Harry Potter series. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested, I did a whole reading vlog series where I reread these books for the very first time and that was a really fun experience. So I will link that playlist in the cards above. And Neville is just the best. Oh my god. I love like for instance in this first book, you know, when he stands up to Harry, Ron, and Hermione when they're trying to sneak out of the common room yet again. And then throughout the series, you know, we really do see his character grow. And then ultimately at the end of the series, he's the reason that Harry can ultimately take Voldemort down because he slays Nagini with the sword of Gryffindor. So yeah, I could go on about Neville, but he is just the best little cinnamon roll. His character goes through so much. His backstory is really tragic. So yes, I just think that he deserves the absolute best. So last up we have Amy and we have two prompts for her. The first one is name a book with a character you love but who is generally disliked or misunderstood. This was another one that was pretty easy for me to answer. That is going to be My Bay Rowan Whitethorn from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. This is the third book called Heir of Fire and I'm holding this one up because this is the first book that he appears in and I love Rowan so much. I know that he can be a bit of an ass sometimes. I know that he can be kind of an annoying alpha male. I get it. And I understand why people don't like his character, especially in this first book, because he's pretty mean to Selena, who's the main character. You know, he's pretty relentless, but at the same time, 
he is desperately trying to get her to become the best version of herself. You know, Selena is at like her worst ever at the very beginning of this book. She went through some shit in Crown of Midnight, which is the second book, and now she is just at the lowest of the low point. And so Rowan needs to get her out of that. But we end up seeing that he is a very complex character. He also has a tragic backstory. And I just love, love, love the development of the relationship between Rowan and Selena throughout the series and that all starts with this book right here and I just think he's the perfect match for Selena and I love how protective he is of the people that he loves and how like honestly like feral and ruthless he can get when anyone he loves is threatened in any way like mm, he's just he's just one of my bays, one of my absolute top book boyfriends. All right guys we're at the very last prompt and that is name a book with a ship that you love but others generally dislike and for those of you guys that don't know a ship is just like a relationship and to be honest there's no ship in a book series that I've read so far that I absolutely adore and other people hate. This is more just a ship that I'm okay with and I'm kind of indifferent towards but I know people like despise one of the characters in this relationship and they think that the main character deserves better and all of that, but that's going to be Alina and Mal from the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. And the reason why I don't hate them is because I do think that Mal and Alina are actually a really good match personality wise. So some people really wanted to put her with the Darkling, but he's literally the villain of the series, guys, and he's kind of the worst. So no to that. And I know that some people were kind of shipping her with Nikolai. I didn't really see those two characters together either. I think that Mal really is the perfect match for her. He's not the best love interest ever, um, but I do understand and kind of sympathize with the way that he reacts, especially to Alina kind of coming into her power. I think in the second book, uh, Mal kind of makes it known that he is not a fan of who Alina is becoming and I kind of understand where he's coming from with all of that. Also I just don't love Alina to begin with so I'm totally fine with her being with Mal so yeah I don't really have like a super strong opinion about them but at the same time I definitely don't despise their pairing. Okay guys that's going to be it for this Little Women book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys would consider pressing that like button and subscribing and I thank you if you do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!